All right, well, it is time for Focus 50 Plus, and Dr. George Schofield joins us. Good, Good morning. morning, and before we start, I would just like to say Marco's parents are here, so welcome to Vincenzo and Marlene. Yes. Okay, we can go on with the show now. That's a tradition. <laughs> I didn't want to have a regret. No, it is. A, yeah, exactly. We're talking about <laughs> and regrets. And we're talking about today. regrets. What a great segue. <laughs> yes. So, so it, it came up this week because a lady called me to say that she had been in a long-term kind of struggle with her cousin, mm -hmm. and her cousin suddenly died. And she had all this regret about what, what should I have done? And I thought, well, you know, those kinds of things happen to us a lot yeah. later in our lives. So I thought we ought to talk about it this morning. So it seems like there's a lot of different forms people have of regret. There are. Yeah. There are. The, the two major forms of regret are one, you did something that you regret later. Right, right. And the other one, which is I think is actually more common, is you didn't do something and you regret not doing True. it later. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. <laughs> so what, in each one, what can we do about them then? So in terms of, what, uh, of the regrets for what you did, mm -hmm. it really is important to pay attention mm -hmm. as you go along. So there's a fellow that I was working with who failed to go to one of his friend's birthday parties. Mm. He made the, he was in a curmudgeonly mood and he didn't want to be nice and he didn't want to go to the birthday party. Right. And then he finally went, but he didn't have a very good time and nobody had um, a good time around him either. Okay. Okay. So he had kind of this, I'm sorry I went, I'm sorry I was the way I was. Right. I'm, it was a mess. Right, right. So, the only thing to do is to bite the bullet and go back and say, well, my lesson from this was what? Right. I, in this case, he couldn't let his curmudgeonliness, right. which comes and goes, right, right. take over and dictate who he was going to be. Right. In terms of the lady who had the long kind of simmering battle with her, with her cousin and she did not follow right. through and do something about it. I think that the major thing about that is not just having the regret or not even just solving it. What did you learn from it? Mm. What do you have to do as a result? And so the right. lady and I made a deal. Okay. And the deal was, I asked her what her cousin really believed in and she said childhood literacy. So she couldn't work with her cousin but she could go volunteer and do some work in childhood literacy and dedicate it to her cousin and that's what she ultimately did. That's wonderful, yeah. Okay, yeah, because he, that's a big issue. For it is, regret it is. is. Something that, yeah. So what we learn and what we can do with it, so we don't, the real regret would be, I did it five times in a row and right. I didn't learn anything I did, from it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. All so, right. All right, thanks. Thank see you. See you next week. We will see you next week and see you guys right after the break.